the best-selling vehicle in America. If you watch TFL Truck, you'll know that it's the Ford F-150. And over my left shoulder is the Ford F-1, the one that started it all, right next to a 2018 Ford F-150. And coming up right now, we're gonna take the old truck in a classic old versus new comparison and see how much times have changed. You guys think the push starts are brand new? 68 years ago, this F1 had a push start. It also had a choke, and well, that's about it. A lot of stuff was yet to be invented, including ABS, stability control, airbags. This doesn't have a synchro between first and second, so you gotta double clutch it to make sure that you don't grind gears. For all you classic truck guys, you must know that to get under the hood of the F1, all you do is pull right here to reveal a flathead Ford. That's right, it's a V8, one of the originals, and it puts out, eh, or it did, about 100 horsepower, give or take. It's paired to a three-speed manual transmission. It's crazy, Ford doesn't even make a manual truck anymore. Powers the rear wheels like a classic truck should. So back in 1950, this would have been the classic Ward truck. This probably wouldn't be something that you would buy to take your family in because, well, your family wouldn't fit, but this would be something that you would use to take... Whoops, whoops, double clutch that too. A little bit rough there. This would be something you would use on a daily basis to go to work in. And, you know, it's actually surprisingly easy to drive. This big steering wheel makes the fact that I don't have power steering seem like it's not a chore. I have my roll-down air conditioning. I have a very comfortable seat. I've got all the controls that I need. Heck, I even got an AM, FM, all right, make that an AM radio. That, uh, well, if it works, it's missing the knob. <laughs> What do you guys think that Henry Ford would think of a 325 horsepower, 2.7 liter twin turbo? I think he would have thought that's absolutely crazy, and yet that is exactly what is under the hood of this brand new F-150. And I've got not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, not nine, but ten forward gears. Yes, ten gears to give me not only power, but also fuel efficiency, which is pretty incredible. It also, of course, is four-wheel drive and, well, has air conditioning. I have exactly five gauges behind the F1. Fuel, oil, temperature, battery, and of course a speedometer that goes to 100, which may be downhill with the wind, with a serious wind this truck could do. But you know what? As a tool, that's really all you need. You don't need the rest of it, right? If you're hauling lumber, if you're hauling ass, these are the controls you need. Is it fast? No, but it's smooth. It sounds great, and it's really comfortable. I can see myself, my girl, on my arm, heading out for a root beer float, maybe a Sunday on Sunday. I'm just really enjoying the ride. This is the kind of truck that just wants to keep going. Yeah. I'm a lot. Yeah, it's very loud in here. There isn't much sound insulation. There isn't much acceleration. There isn't much tire patch. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. What matters is the open road and the fact that I feel like I'm back in 1950. Now, this truck is quiet. This truck is powerful. 
this truck is fast, this truck is sexy, uh, this truck tows a, well, I'll probably tow like 10 of those, it might even haul 10 of those, but is it charming, is it sweet, is it cute, is it a time machine, no, it's not, which is okay, because everything can't be a time machine, but getting behind the wheel of this and hooking up my phone via Bluetooth to the infotainment system, I'm plugged back into the 21st century and um, all that stress just has gone flowing right back into me and I miss the charm and the beauty and the sense of the open road that you get in the old truck. You know the biggest difference between this new truck and of course this old truck is not just the fact that this has a lot more capability. This will tow more, this will haul more, this will fit more. I mean, this fits two people, maybe three in a pinch. This, you can get in five comfortably. But the biggest difference is that this is such a simpler vehicle. Back in the day, really, this was a work tool. So it had everything needed to get the job done, which meant a bed, an engine, a steering wheel, and brakes. This, of course, well, this has turbos and ABS and traction control and stability control and all kinds of infotainment. And there's a large part of me that just loves the simplicity of this because when you're driving this, that's all you're doing. When you're driving that, you could be texting, you could be massaging your butt if you had a nicer version of this truck. And really, if you want to be one with a machine, you can't be plugged into a telephone. You just have to enjoy the ride. Enjoy the pure mechanical beauty, the simplicity of an American truck. I'm doing 50 and I feel great. In 68 years, trucks have come a very long way. Not only can the new F-150 almost drive itself, but chances are, if you crash it, it probably won't kill you. Same can't be said for the old F-1. But I gotta tell you, if I was going out for a big root beer float on a Friday night with my girl in the passenger seat, there's one truck that I would definitely prefer, and it's the old F1. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fastlane Truck. Check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and of course, classic old versus new reviews. Ciao.